Right behind us is what I like to refer to as the Spoiled Princess Pond. This is a really special place. It's only about three quarters of an acre and we're going after the target of growing a world record bass in this little pond. And the reason that it has the name the Spoiled Princess Pond is because this pond, as far as largemouth bass are concerned, is a female only pond. Now why, why would we do a female only pond? Bass, like most fish, there's sexual differences, so males get much, much smaller total body size than females. So any big fish, five, six pounds or larger, is always a female. So first of all, we get rid of the males. Um, then the female only part, if you put a female in a pond by itself, they still go through the ritual of producing eggs, gametes, they're, do, they're doing it now, heading into the winter, and then they, they start to get really ripe, and if there's no males around, they just resorb those eggs and keep on growing instead of going through the stress of getting rid of eggs and trying to recover that weight. So we just bypass the whole spawning process and shunt those eggs and that energy back into growth and keep the whole cycle going. The spoiled part is that these fish have the most ample prey imaginable. They have bluegill, they have shad, the bluegill are feed trained bluegill. So the bluegill are coming to the feeder to feed. We've stocked this lake with tons and tons of permanent habitat. There are four fish cities in this little lake. So what we're trying to go for there is we want these female bass to just loaf at those fish cities, let the food come to them so that they burn as little energy as possible for going after their food, not burning any energy for reproduction just growing, just becoming tanks.